the signs were already there. Um, before I'd used drugs and alcohol, I'd gone to university, I'd started my personal hygiene habits, had already started to erode and, and I wasn't looking after myself at the age of 16, 17, so prior to using any alcohol and drugs, that pattern had already been set. So by the time I picked up cannabis, I think all it did was amplify the existing unwellness that exist, that was there, that was present. I felt like I'd been running around with lots of big blindfolds on. But I also felt like I didn't really know anyone around me either. Like everyone had been running around wearing big masks. And I mean, I'd certainly been wearing a big mask, pretending that I was fine. And I really wasn't behind it. You know, you think about it for a week, so you stay up for seven days, and you get stoned in that first morning, you get stoned at night time, but you don't go to sleep, and you get stoned the next morning, the next daytime. You're actually stoned for a week, and then your body loses touch with reality, and you start thinking things that aren't true. And um, every now and then I like get a little bit like that, you know? It's just paranoia and shit, and um, having, having, you know, just fucked up thoughts about shit that's not true. You know, once you're better, people want you to be better all the time. And it's really hard to be better all the time, because I'm not better all the time, better most of the time. Despite the fact that I had no pers sense of personal hygiene, no sense of, um, of once again, that I was dying. I, sp I, I was probably depressed, but didn't really know that I was depressed. Yeah, once again, lost and aimless. Yeah, if I had have had a clinical diagnosis, they probably would have given me depression, and substance dependence, definitely. Um, but I wouldn't have known either of those things at the time. 